Hi, I'm Austin Mantell, the great-great-grandson of L. Frank Baum, and today I'll be reading the concluding chapter, chapter 24, entitled Home Again, from L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Chapter 24, Home Again. And Tem had just come out of the house to water the cabbages when she looked up and saw Dorothy running toward her. My darling child, she's cried, folding the little girl in her arms and covering her face with kisses. Where in the world did you come from? From the land of Oz, said Dorothy gravely, and here is Toto, too. And oh, Aunt Tem, I am so glad to be at home again. And that concludes L. Frank Baum's The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Dina Misachi. I thought up this idea of reading The Wonderful Wizard of Oz during our stay in place time. And I also teach The Wizard of Oz at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. And I thought it'd be a fun way to wrap up this project by reading L. Frank Baum's introduction from The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Introduction. Folklore, legends, myths, and fairy tales have followed childhood throughout the ages. For every healthy youngster has a wholesome and instinctive love for stories, fantastic, marvelous, and manifestly unreal. The winged fairies of Grimm and Anderson have brought more happiness to childish hearts than all other human creations. Yet the old time fairy tales have served for generations may now be classified as historical in the children's library. For the time has come for a series of newer wonder tales in which the stereotype genie, dwarf, and fairy are eliminated together with all the horrible and blood-curdling incidents devised by their authors to point a fearsome world to each tale. Modern education includes morality. Therefore, the modern child seeks only entertainment in its wonder tales and gladly dispenses with all disagreeable incident. Having this thought in mind, the story of the wonderful Wizard of Oz was written solely to pleasure children of today. It aspires to being a modernized fairy tale in which the wonderment and joy are retained and the heartaches and nightmares are left out. We hope that our series helped leave out some of the heartaches and nightmare of your social isolation time. And if you're looking for more information on the wonderful Wizard of Oz, you might consider reading some of Baum's other books. He continued the series for some time, and then other authors continued the series, including some of our readers from this. If you want a list of those books, you can go to the International Wizard of Oz Club's website. They not only have a list of all of Baum's books and all of the books after Baum, but they also have information on various things you can do throughout the year to participate in the wonderful Wizard of Oz, and for a nominal fee, if you want, you can join the club and get all sorts of information, like the Bomb Bugle, which has all bits of fun Oz things. So you can continue throughout the year participating in Oz with us. Thanks so much for listening, and thank you to all of our readers for volunteering their time and reading for us. So Wake up where the clouds are falling